Good afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, the boys and girls love us. Yeah, you know? I'm sure. They cluster right around the TV and, oh, the I'm two sure. two bozos back on, and it's exciting. Yeah. But anyway, folks, guess what? The Patriots are going to play Sunday against yes, Kansas yeah, City. That's a good thing. And we're going to tell you all about it. But first, Gary and I are going to discuss a couple of matters of general interest. Okay. And uh, we'll kind of warm up our uh, <clears throat> voice boxes with a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, I have two uh, hoorahs that are going to happen in Boston uh, this week. Okay. Weekend or whatever. The auto show uh -huh. at um, Convention Center, Exhibit Center, um, yeah. Down there in the seaport area. Right. Do you go to there? I have in the past a number of times. I don't religiously go every year. I'm not there, you know. But uh, Gail and I have gone on several occasions. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. I remember going to that when I was like 15 or 16. Yeah, and absolutely. sitting in them and, oh, man. Yeah, getting to sit in the cars uh, and see them all up close. Yeah. Is this what an Oldsmobile 98 is? Yeah. Oh, boy. Open the hood. Yeah. It was great in those days. Yeah. There wasn't that many people. There. Yeah. Get now to put the convertible gets, top up and down? Oh, I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's a good take. And uh, a couple of my boys and I will probably go in. Yeah. And maybe my grandson. I saw an ad that it was here. Yeah, it's, it's an, here. It's fun. The 17th it's through the 21st. Something to do in the cold weather. The best 15 bucks you're apt yeah. to spend. Yeah. Um, Patrick was beautiful. A couple of years ago. That's it. You know what, Dad? I'm going to get... Next car, Nissan Rogue, I'm going to lease it, and that's it. So we went in. He sat in it, and he said to me, this is the biggest piece of crap I've ever sat in in that's my life. That's what's good about it, and yeah. that changed his mind altogether. Yep, being able to go in and actually yep. touch it and feel it. Yep, you know. well, he just didn't like it. Yeah. Um, but anywho, now, so we admit that's a pretty good deal. Yep. All right. How about the 18th and the 19th, Northeast Craft Beer Pavilion? Huh. Uh, 35 bucks, and you get to sample uh, 100 plus beers. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah. Now, you know, nobody yeah. liked beer any more than me. Mm hmm. And if somebody would watch me and take care of me, I wouldn't mind going to something yeah. like that. But you need an Uber driver. Exactly. There'd be a lot of Uber drivers pulling into that parking lot. Somebody would have to pull in for me. Yeah. Because how the devil can they be responsible, uh, responsibly present this to the public when somebody shells out 35 bucks and you know damn right well he's going to yeah. be drinking them with both hands yeah. or she? Yeah. I don't know. Somehow, I just feel that nothing good can come of this. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, the drunk driving thing, right? Yeah. So, if you want to go, take an Uber. Or, or have use a driver. mass transportation. Or use mass transportation. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Good advice from your two favorite TV celebrities. No, that said, if you love uh, craft beer and you want to do that, you know, $35, you get to drink a lot of different craft beers. That's but you know what? After the third beer, they all taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know about this sample on this. How about after the 12th? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I was blessed or cursed. I... I oh, kids, don't listen to what I'm going to say. Yeah. But I could drink 20, yeah. 24 cans of beer. In your youth. Bottles of beer. Yeah. 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 And, and still function, sort yeah. of. You just, uh, you just peed a lot. And then, like my wife, two beers, she's flat on the floor. Yeah. She doesn't know whether she's in Rhode Island or uh, Africa. Um, well, anyway, um, couple, just a couple of other very brief uh, things here. Um, and one of them is uh, Kyla Murray. 
has yes. got quite a decision to have to make. He does, between baseball and football. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. And I guess it's probably going to be how high he goes in the football draft. Yep. Uh, but they're not supposed to be talking yet until no. the draft. And uh, no, but I've, I've, read, I've read some stuff on this. And, you know, uh, during the season, most of the scouts thought he was a second, maybe even a third round pick. They were saying second day, right? So mm -hmm. they do the first round one day, then they do the second, third round. Yep. <laughs> and now there's some thought that given the lack of quarterbacks, yep. that he could potentially move up into the first round. Getting the Heisman Trophy didn't hurt didn't his hurt. chances any. It didn't hurt. I'm but, not sold on him, though. But being 5'9", yeah, which, I, which they claim he is, yeah, um, he's quite an athlete. So I don't know of course, we don't know which is more likely. If, if everything was equal, I would say go play baseball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll stay healthy. You'll make a ton of money if you're actually going to be a good player. Yeah. The end of this article says, Neon Dion Sanders is quoted, if I'm in his position, I'm picking up a bat and never looking back. Yeah. Yeah. And here's a guy that's been a, a, a terrific athlete in both sports. Yeah. Sound advice, I think. Uh, this kid is as good as he's trumped up to be now. So he's with the A's. Yep. Right? So. And he's accepted a $4.66 million uh, payoff. Signing for, bonus. Yeah, signing bonus. Yep. Now, what they're saying is. They're trying to figure ways around to pay him more. Yeah. Um, and uh, they're coming up with some wacky stuff. But, um, you know, if... But is he considered to be a can't-miss baseball player, do you think? 4.66 mil? Yeah. Yeah. They, they must think so. Billy Bean. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't make too many mistakes. Yeah. Um, the only thing I can think of is... If he plays baseball and gets hurt, he could probably always go back to football. But if he gets plays football and gets hurt, those are different kinds of injuries. Yeah, yeah uh, they're Jackson. possibly debilitating. Yeah, Bo Jackson. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. What a what a tragedy that was. Right. Because um, he was really good at both sports. Oh. I mean, you know, really they good. said that he hit the ball 550 feet in spring training. Yeah. I mean, that's halfway to one socket, isn't it? Yeah. He Boy. Had tremendous power. He could hit. He could run. He had a strong arm. Yep. And everybody liked him. Everybody liked him. Yeah. Yeah. He had a lot of respect from his peers. Right. Yeah. Um, I know that if this was my son, there's... Absolutely no doubt what I'd be yeah. telling them. Go play baseball. Yeah, go play baseball. Um, so, yeah, you're probably right. If they've already given them a 4.66 yeah. bonus to sign. Hey, listen. They obviously think he's got big league talent. So Even if he's, uh, well, something less than a superstar, they're paying $4 million yeah. to guys, to the 24th and 5th guy on the roster now. You don't have to be a superstar. You no. can be an average player in the M MLB now. If you can play 10 years, you're going to make at least $50 million. That's right. And, and, and if, if, you got, uh, if you can hit a few home runs and play defensively, you're going to make it's only up from there. 75 or $100 million. Yeah. 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 I mean, we got guys on the roster that are living examples of that. Yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> Mookie Betts is one of them. Yeah. Now, that's a good decision for Mookie, I'll tell you. Hanley Ramirez. Oh. Up with a 422. Don't remind us, right? Pablo yeah. Sandoval. Yeah. Uh, Still paying um, for him. Yeah. yeah. Paying through the nose for him. Um, the hesitation waltz with Josh McDaniel is getting old. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it was a... The Packers were the one team that he was willing to listen to. But it, does, it sounds like in reading up on it afterwards that, you know, yeah, he went and talked to him, but he was never really in the running, no. I guess. No. Like this other guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and uh, I forget, who, uh, and, they, I forget and, who they hired, but and, and the other surprise. thing too is, if he came in after pulling that deal with Indy, yeah, I mean, I would have to be totally and completely overwhelmed by him yeah. to even consider him. Uh, and I got one more thing. You know, it's interesting too is that Mike McCarthy hasn't got a sniff from anybody. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, nobody. Um, you know, there's a couple of guys on the sidelines that, yeah. veteran coaches that, where have they gone, you know? Jeff Fisher wants to come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, wherever he is, let's leave him yeah. there. Uh, uh, one other thing. Verizon and Disney had a battle over Verizon's uh, fees to carry ESPN. Mm-hmm. And remember it went down to the 12th hour there, yeah. and uh, somebody blinked, yeah. and uh, they signed a new contract. At what point do we look at the cable companies as a utility? Uh, this is an interesting subject that you could get me started on. I think the cable companies are, are doomed. I, I think cable is going to be archaic in five or ten years. Oh, I don't think it's going to be ten. Yeah, I don't either. It's going to be all these, it's the streaming services, you know, AT&T bought Time Warner and all that because they're going to be offering all these streaming services. And you won't go through a cable company. You'll deal directly with the media giant and well, buy their streaming services. And you may buy streaming services from two or three different ones mm. and have what you have today but it won't be the cable company taking their cut. Now, Comcast owns a lot of content, too, so Comcast may be one of them. But, yeah, I think the whole thing's going to change in the next five or ten years. Yeah, and Comcast will pay yeah. for ripping us off. Yeah, where we were uh, totally dependent on them yeah. for the last 25 years. Yeah. I mean, You'll be able to get rid of them if you want. And I mean, I don't buy, want, you know, personally... Um, I had season tickets to the Bruins. Yeah. I used to go into a couple of three Celtics games a year. Yeah. And if somebody, uh, you know, I got onto the Paw Sox. So, I mean, I, I was spending a fair amount of money on sports. And um, when cable came, it was a blessing, you know? Yeah. But they kept jacking the prices up. It's still 200 bucks a month. All right. Supposing I go to a sporting event a month. Right. I mean, when you get yeah. through figuring out what it costs to go to the Red Sox oh, yeah. and to the uh, a couple Bruins. hundred bucks and, a game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially if you do it twice a month. Well, you're in tall clover with the uh, uh, cable company and, and all the movie channels and the news channels and yeah. all that stuff that goes with it. Um, but uh, a la carte, they blocked a la carte where you could say, Here's the channels I want. I want yeah. NBC, CBS, I want Weather Channel, I want blah, 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 and that's right. it. Right. Ten I don't want the 205 channels right. that I have now. I mean, I get channels on my TV I've never watched. We all, a they lot come of with them. the package. Yeah. Oh, the cooking channel. Yeah, I would love to, be, as a, as a, and, and that's where I think it's going. That you will be able to do more You've of that. You've got to be able to do that. Yeah. It's going to, you're not, the, you're not going to save money. You're still going to pay as much or maybe even more. But I think it will be cable companies as we've known it for the last generation. It's going to be much different. Yeah. I think we can save a little money because I'm not going to take all these other bloody channels. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm not, I certainly hope we can save a little money. But And I don't like the movie channels anyway. Yeah. I mean, TCM is about the only one I watch uh, if there's a good black and white from 1938 on there. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, Nesson, uh, Comcast ba for basketball. Yep. Um, History you got, Channel. And you got, yeah. It's about, you know. I get about seven that I watch, Fox Financial. You'd uh, want more. You don't want to have 12 to 15. NBC, CBS, uh, the news stations. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and my wife watches... Uh, of NCIS and yeah. oh, all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Um, so between the two of us. HGTV. 
Yeah, we can live with 30 channels. Oh, easy. Easily, yeah. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that'll all happen. But this phony bull that they peddled us that, well, uh, technology isn't there. We can't give you a la carte. Oh, you they must could. be kidding me. Of course they could. They number all the channels, and you'd say to them, here's what I want, 62, 84, 91, hike. Uh, yeah. And, and they go boom, 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 and it comes to your box. Well, the reality is a lot of those stations are actually paying Comcast for the right to be on, there. on their yeah. listings yeah. and available. Yeah. Right, so it's a revenue maker for them sure. whether we're watching it yeah. or not. I'm sure. I bet you Cam Comcast stays in business. Yeah, uh, because they're they're gonna, gonna. they're gonna figure it out. They're smart people. Verizon, I don't know about. Uh, they appear to be shooting themselves in the foot uh, from time to time. Yeah, uh, sp the stock seems to doesn't. Uh, yes, quite... I have some of that stock. Do you really? Yes. Well, you know when I was. I worked for GTE back in the day, which became Verizon. I used to own stock in GTE. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're going back in history, I'll tell you. Yeah. Um, one other thing, and then we can sail into the Patriots. Okay. Five black coaches have been fired. Mm hmm Now, this is, for all intents and purposes, a non-story. You don't hear any calls about racism or, well, we're going to have five new black coaches hired or anything like that. Right. Unless it's on the lunatic fringe talk shows. But it's now, okay, they weren't getting the job done. Yeah, look at And the, people accept it. Look at the records. And, and you know what? We've made a major move towards, uh, well, not major, but we've made a move towards... Except uh, understanding one another and dealing with racial differences when something like this is, phew, it's like getting Nobody's hit by a rainbow. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Well, I think we've taken care of this. Now, what do you have to say, sir, about the events of Sunday that are coming? Wow. So we're filming this. Prior to the Patriots yes, Kansas City the game. The Thursday night before Sunday. After the San Diego game last week, which was unbelievable. You know, why don't we talk about that Patriots first? Dominance. Yeah, why don't you talk about that first? Okay, let's the talk San about Diego the San Diego game. game. It's the best game I've seen the Patriots play in you know, in some ways in really maybe years. They you can go back to Teddy Bruschi, I'll tell you. Yeah, despite the fact that they won the Super Bowl two years ago and lost last year, if they had played like that in the Super Bowl last year, they would have had another championship, but that's another subject. And um, so spectacular. They blew them out. They, they owned the line of scrimmage on both sides in that game. I mean, some of those replays, the offensive line was, all we heard about all week was Joey Bosa and Ingram. Bosa and yeah. Ingram. Bosa and Ingram. They, they just blew those guys back off the ball. He didn't call Bowser until the third yeah. quarter. Yeah, the offensive line, that was the most dominant performance the left, I can remember. The left side. Yeah. Ooh. Trent Brown was just wiping people out. Killing them. You know? He is going to so, be. Do you know he's only 25 years old? He's only 25? Yeah. I thought he was like 28. No? Yeah. So, is guess, he a free agent? Yeah, guess what yeah. he's going to get next year. Yeah, somebody's so, going to pay him. So once this is all over, we'll be, we'll be talking about what are they going to do at left tackle next year. I got a whole story about contracts that the Patriots are going to yeah. straighten up, yeah, fly right with. But uh, and Gronk, he's done. Uh, you know, maybe he's done as a receiver. <laughs> Still a great block. But I want to tell you something. He was a beast blocking. Yes, he was. I never have seen. A better job yeah. by a receiver. That than one, what that he one did. Uh, run by Michelle around the corner where he was on one guy blocking him. Slid off him. Pushed, <laughs> slid off him and picked up the other guy as Michelle flew by behind him. That was phenomenal. Do you know what I was uh, surprised at? They caught up to Michelle yeah. on that long run of his. Yeah. And he was surprised too. He said in the paper the next day, I never expected to be caught. Yeah, I thought Michelle played well, but I really think it was more about the holes. I mean, you watch the replays, and the, you know he's got holes to run through. And 
Now, the I'm not saying I'm not just, saying you and I could have uh, been running back and right. going through those holes, right. but it's close to it. So, you know, when we talk about can they take their game on the road, you know, offensive line is part of that. Can they bring that intensity and nastiness that they played with? They were awesome last week. Can they bring that on the road? Because they haven't yes, brought they, it on the road very much this right. year. You're absolutely right. I got some stats here about that. Yeah, so um, it starts with them. If they, And then the defensive scheme last week was brilliant, right? Absolutely. The defense played very well. Players that we've been tough on, they all made plays. Roberts is stepping into the hole, making a tackle. He had noise and deep coverage downfield, yeah. down the sideline. Yeah. He had good cover. He had great coverage, you know. Uh, so and Gilmore, even though he allowed, he could get burned on that a couple. One play. Um, he yeah. was brilliant at times. Yeah. Yeah, Boy, he, I'll tell you, um, I don't think you could ask for a better job than the job yeah. he did. I mean, when you're up against quality receivers, sometimes they're going to win. But so uh, the only play that really bothered me was in the first quarter. They, they take the ball, right, which was a surprise that they actually took the kick, chose to take the kick. They drive down in just a really impressive drive. San Diego comes out. They have a penalty. Anyway, they have them in third and 15. And, I'm, and now it's still only 7 nothing. I'm like, all right, get off the field. Third and 15. Get up. And San Diego converted it, ended up going all the way down the field and scoring. Mm. So outside of that... Because once San Diego did score, the Patriots just took the game over. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? I think um, that one takeaway I had from that, well, first of all, let me tell you about Brown. Um, he said in an article I read this week, Dante Skynecchia is the greatest coach he's ever had. Fred Brown said that? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. He said, I've learned more from him this year than in my whole career. Huh, really? I mean, he is just, he didn't come out and say he's made a man of me, but yeah. I, that's about what he was saying. Right. Um, that's one thing that the Patriots could have on their side, is Sky Nekia. Yeah. Uh, in re signing this. Guy. I think Trent Brown will be gone. I think so too. Because somebody's going to pay him. Yeah, a skillion million, skillion dollars million a dollars. And Bill's not going to do that. No, and when you're six six and three eighty, right. I can just see injuries all over the place coming, and uh, that's a shame. But boy, I'll tell you what—he's uh, been a, 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 well, the best, maybe the best pickup of the last off season. Oh, I agree. We with were you. sitting here a year ago saying, you know, when Solda left, it's like, what are we going to do? I guess. Bill did the right thing, huh? Yeah. It's amazing. He has all these books on all these players. Right. Uh, he's Well, which gets me to my subject. Uh, we won that game last weekend, as far as I'm concerned, with the two coaches. Mm -hmm. One coach was, for all intents and purposes, brilliant and flawless. The other coach was like a deer in the headlights. Yeah. Very Gee, slow. Uh, very slow to adjust uh, out of his own coverage. Oh, uh, look at those guys rushing my quarterback. Uh, oh, what's the book say? Oh, yeah, screen passes. Anybody know how to throw yeah. one of those? Yeah, I know. Mm. That's exactly what the was, situation called for. And they were for. rigid. It was like they were in straitjackets. Yeah. They couldn't break out of it and say, time out. Guys, get over here. Right. Listen to me now. We're going to start sending in some screen passes, some draw plays, maybe a reverse here. But we've got to slow this crowd down. And I, I don't, uh, I well, really you know, truly. They, they played that so called amoeba yeah. defense, the oh, Patriots, yeah. <laughs> right? Where everybody's standing up. Some people drop back, some people rush. You know, they very rarely rush more than four people, it's just mm -hmm. different people every time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so it was a, it was a fantastic triumph for Belichick and his crew. Yeah, and if Flores, in fact, has a 
really something to do with this. Well, he's got something to do with it, of course. Yeah. We better not lose him. He's I mean, can we, spend, can we lo stand losing two straight defensive coordinators? Yes. Okay. Because I'm I was never a big Matt Patricia fan. Yeah. Well, I think the reality is that Bill Belichick is, has yeah. always actually been yeah. the defensive coordinator. Yeah. He doesn't call the signals on the field, but he, in terms of the game plan, yep, it's Bills. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. Yep. And poor uh, the the coach for uh, San Diego, um, Anthony uh, Lynn. Yeah. Um, the amazing thing is that he still has a job. Yeah. I would have, if I was the owner, I would have said, I could get a high school coach that could do this. Yeah. So, you know, they, yeah, on both sides of the ball, they didn't adjust to anything. They didn't adjust yeah. to that amoeba defensive. You know, Tony Romo said it during the game. He goes, they're running stuff here that they haven't run. There is no tape on this stuff because they haven't run it before. That's the Patriots. <laughs> Stuff they've been working on and haven't used, and now they break it out. And, you, and they're uh, going to have some more Sunday. When um, they uh, went fourth and three, and they went for it? Yeah. And they made it. Right. Easily. Easily. Uh, and uh, the play-by-play uh, -play announcer uh, said, this is a great team. He said, this is unbelievable. Uh, their approach to the game it is perfection. Hmm. And I remember saying to myself, I've never heard anything quite like that in all yeah. my days. Jim uh, Nance does appreciate the Patriots, though. Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. In fact, I think the Patriots get a better break with uh, him and Romo yeah. uh, than a couple of the other uh, teams. Uh, Dan Fouts, uh, I, I'm not sure that he's a big Patriots fan. Yeah. Um, and as far as uh, the play-by-play -play guy with them there, uh, Iron Eagle, he's he's along for the ride. Yeah. He just calls the game. He doesn't say a whole heck of a lot about his opinions. Uh, he's the voice of um, the uh, Nets. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Brooklyn Nets. Oh, he is basketball. Oh, he on is? TV. Yeah. Huh. And uh, his, guess who his analyst is? For basketball? Yeah. I don't know. Very, very attractive young lady, a blonde. Oh, really? Yeah, she was a former... Uh, oh, was she the... Um, she was a guest on the broadcast the other yes. night, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's his... She... Yeah. And she came over to uh, sit with... Uh, with um, Mike, yeah. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Who, by the way, is a class act. Oh, my goodness. I mean... Uh, I think he's terrific. Um, okay, Kansas City, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, they allowed only 18 points per game at home, yeah. sixth best in the league, but yet they allowed 34 points per game on the road, right. second worst in the league. That's who I hope shows up out there. Right. Uh, the bottom line, they can be scored against. And if the Pats ignore geography, they could have an outstanding chance. And yeah. by the way, the, for all intents and purposes, uh, Las Vegas says it's even because mm -hmm. you always give three to the home team. Right. So, yeah, I think it is, and I think it starts with the offensive line. If they, you know, if they give Brady time, if Brady has time to, you know, he has three seconds to drop back and throw, you know. I think they can. I think they can move the ball. Yeah, but you know, can they stop Mahomes and company? They really. I mean, the game here early in the year was a shootout, forty-three forty. Hopefully, we they had can, a huge lead. The Pats were up at halftime. Maybe they can control them a little bit. Yeah, I think he's a interesting young player. So, you yeah. know, he's young. Is he ready for the magnitude of this game? Is he going to get going uh, against Belichick? He's yeah, gonna, jitters. Patriots are going to show him stuff that he hasn't been on the oh, film. Oh, guaranteed, this guaranteed. Week. Yeah, Kelsey is a big weapon. Kelsey's too. a huge weapon. Yeah, um, but I think the one that I am always afraid of is Tyreek Hill. Yeah, that speed. Now he's a terrible person, uh, and, and in a perfect world, he shouldn't be on, on an NFL team. Yeah, 
Wow. I mean, anybody that uh, has his record and has done what he's done yeah. does not deserve, it seems to me, to be honored as a star in the National Football No, I agree, but that said, he's very fast. I mean, Oh, fast. he's a destructive weapon, he I'll is. tell you. Oh, and he's got football sense. He's not just a track star. Yeah. We've seen a few of them come in and out of Foxborough, but they don't have... So we'll see what happens. We yeah. need the defense to step up. I was encouraged by the linebacker play, because the linebacker, I think, has been a problem during the year. The linebackers, you know, I heard Dante Hightower's name on multiple occasions. On the yep. Tele, you know, yep. He was in the backfield. And I think... So we need that, you know... Special teams, too. Yeah, but and that comes out of taking their game on that game that they brought to the field last week. Can they pack that up and take it to Kansas City? Because I think they can. They've really struggled doing the that. Only this year. thing is uh, that Brady may have trouble getting the signals out of the line of scrimmage. That is going to be one screaming crowd. They're going to be using hand signals. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to yeah. be. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, <laughs> Brady came up with a great quote. I thought this was one of the best ones he's ever come up with. Uh, quote, I am enjoying my family. My oldest boy is into every play. My daughter is the cheerleader. My youngest is into none of it. And me, I'm just the father. They would much rather hang out with Gronk or Jules than me. <laughs> Yeah. In other words, I'm just a typical father. He's, he's dead, yeah. <laughs> they want to hang out with Gronk. Yeah. Who's doesn't, not, oh, doesn't everybody want to hang out with Gronk? He's just a big kid. He's a that's big what makes kid. him lovable. Yeah, he is lovable. Yep. Fearless prediction. I'm ready to make it. Okay. I've written it down. I can't take it back. Can they rip apart Kansas City like they did the Chargers? Yes, if they can contain Hill. Do I think they can? Probably not. Can the Pats repeat their offensive steamroller they produced last weekend? Yes, I think they can. So there we are. The Pats and a squeaker. Yeah, Pats and a squeaker. I'm with you. I think it's going to be a tough game. So uh, it stops, right? I mean, the defense has to find a way to make their punter punt. Yeah. Four or five times. Yeah. They're going to score. We're going to score. I like the over under, by the way, I hear is 55 and a half. I like the over. I like the over. Oh, really, this is going to be the shootout, huh? I don't know if it'll be 43 40 like the first game, yeah. but it very easily could be. Sounds like the weather's going to be a non factor now. It's yep. not going to be this ridiculous frozen tundra. It's going to be like last week at Foxborough, cold, but, yeah. you know, go you can live with it. Yeah, no problem. Non issue. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, just the Patriots I, need to be the tougher team. I was like I, they were last week. They, yeah. they were in charge last week. They, well, they were. They were men, and San yeah. Diego was boys. Yeah. And by the way, Philip Rivers, um, entering Foxborough, they had Philip Rivers right on the cover of Score. Huh. And do you know what it says here? Entering Foxborough, charges slay Ravens at Baltimore and come to Gillette as the most complete team in the AFC. Yeah. How'd that work out? Yeah. Did, <laughs> the, so the Patriots aren't the most complete team, but how come they took them apart? Right. By the way, by the way, um, you know, we talk, I, and I got a line, something coming up here about Jameis Winston. Um, yeah. I, I got a little input from uh, somebody from uh, Tampa. Okay. Um, by way of a friend. And it's just, he, he's just, he doesn't care. He's just, he, he's... Got a tremendous arm, and yet all he wants to do is off the field stuff. Yeah, uh, no concentration, um, and it's. Uh, Bruce Arians uh, will get rid of him. 
Yeah. Too much money given to a child, a common story in the NFL. How do yeah. you handle their tantrums? You can't. Right. What are you going to do? I have uh, never been a Jameis Winston fan going back to college. Well, you know in college. I know he has talent. It's never been the issue that he doesn't have mm. talent. But when you think of an, a franchise and NFL quarterback, no way. Never. But it's you, never going to happen. But you know, back when he was um, in college, I saw him in a couple of games putting... Throwing darts. Yeah, he was good. And hitting guys, uh, between guys. And he was good. But he was even out of control then. Oh, off he the was. Field. Off the field. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and they they covered up more stuff oh. about him. Um, so. I don't know what to think, uh, except. I take Nick, I, Nick I would, Foles over him any day of the week. Oh. So if you're I, Bruce Arians. And you know, maybe you're figuring out how to do that. Get yeah, rid of Winston. Go he, get Nick he, Arians Foles. has got uh, connections with uh, yeah. Foles. Uh, and, uh, well, it's it, going to be interesting, the Foles situation. Yeah. Foles is a marketable quarterback. Well, he really and truly is. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something else wild and wacky. You know, if the Patriots were saying or, and talked to Brady and said, one more, that's all, and I'm out of here. Yeah. I'd go after Foles with both feet. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to him. It'll be very interesting to see. Very. Because, you know, he, he, he's another one. You know, he doesn't have all the classic quarterback things that make him a sexy quarterback. But the, the guy just plays. It wins. He just plays. Yeah. And he makes throws. He doesn't panic. He knows what he's doing. He's got a strong enough arm. He's smart. He's got the head to be. And he's also an NFL one tough dude because he's he not is. afraid to pull the ball down and run. And his teammates all love him. Yeah. He's, he's a, a very popular he's player a on that team. He's yeah. a leader. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, here's a piece from the Globe. And Wentz it, can't stay in the field. I, I'm just saying. Yeah. It's an interesting dilemma for Philly. It is, but they're going to stay with Wentz. I think they're going to stay with yeah. Wentz, and I probably ultimately would too. But, yeah. but, but for it, for this game, I'd be mighty tempted to put Falls back out there. But they're going to start Wentz. Yeah, they're going to start Wentz. Yeah, yeah, when he, next year. Yeah. Um, this is an article from uh, the Globe, Chad Finn, who I don't really like, but um, it, there will be changes. I suspect we're in the final weekends of Rob Bungarnkowski's Patriot career, and that's sad. Uh, also noted that this is perhaps it for Stephen Gustowski also, right. that he's become too expensive. But how do you possibly let a guy walk that's hit, what, 50 straight field goals inside the 40-yard line? Yeah, I think he'll be back on a rework contract. Yeah. Uh, jeepers, creepers, yeah. I sure hope so. Koskowski will be back. I think Gronk will be gone. And, you know, again, you know, you can say what you want, but, you know, Bill was right trying to trade Gronk to Detroit, supposedly for a first-round pick. Yeah, it would have ended up being a bargain. But, you know, Gronk's going to leave. There's 11 million bucks on your cap. Yep. And I think the other guys, you know, you got to, they're going to need to look at this team because look at it next year. Uh, Hightower, Devin McCourty, are they really playing? Have, did he, either one of those guys play to their cap number this year? No way. So they got a, they got some tough calls to make. No. And I could see them cutting Hightower. I'm not a big Karen Gregian fan. No, I'm not either. No. She's not a football. She's a sports writer. Yeah. But not a, you know what she was? She was a hockey writer. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But the Herald, uh, you yeah. know, they have small budgets. Uh, so she wrote this column about contract situations for next year. Trey Flowers. Yeah. Um, I, think they'll tr I, think, I think they got a chance to keep him. 
Uh, He's a pass rusher, though, and they, the people overpay for that. Franchise tag for defensive ends is seventeen million. Yeah. I don't know if uh, Belly Boy is going to go for that. I don't think so. I don't think it so. It depends, though. What happens with the cat? I mean, you know, all if all of a sudden, if they do, Gronkowski's gone and Hightower's gone and maybe McCourty's got a rework deal. You, know, Trent, you might have some cap space to play Trent with. Trent Brown. Yeah. Um, he might not get sold the money, but he might get up near $10 million per season. I don't think there's any You question. know what? If he'd take three years, $10 million a year, I, the, yeah. I'd sign him in a heartbeat. I would too. Um, but, the, I, but I think that's way below value. I really do. I think she's wrong If he here. goes to market, he could see 12 14 um, average value. I would think so. Yeah. yeah. I been, mean, he's look, been this, really is, good this, this year. is the he's first year he's put it all together. So it is. Yeah. And some, some, if someone was a realist, they would say, "I'll pay him the seventeen mil he wants, only if Dante Skarnecchia comes with yeah. him." Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's going to. That's happen. not happening. No. Um, and she also has um, some good things to say about Marcus Cannon and Joe Tooney. But uh, then she gets to Stephen Goskowski, and you know what? Uh, we, he's, the key point here is that he turns 35 at the end of yeah. the season, and he's the highest paid kicker in football. I so. think they'll redo his contract, yeah. bring his cap number down a little bit. Chris Hogan, um, they like him, but... I can't see them resigning him for the kind of money he's getting right now. No. I'll tell you what I'd like to see him do there is let Hogan go and go out and get Amendola because Miami fired their coach. Their owner is saying, we're going to blow the team up. So Amendola left here, and what really made the difference was the signing bonus, which they, you don't have to pay for. You'll just get the base salary. So he's probably, you know, he's probably $5 million bucks a year. Uh, and yeah, I think it was a two-year $10 million, wasn't it? Or yeah, a two-year so, 12 The point million. is, a bunch of that is signing bonus, which comes off. Mm -hmm. So the Patriots may be looking at only having to pay him you know, three or three and a half. Yeah. And he's got one year left. Go give him, a, go give him one of those seventh-round picks and get him back for next year. I'd be 100% in favor of that yeah. because he was a clutch performer. So Miami paid him the bonus, out, you know, which yeah, so that, was the difference. That's fine. <laughs> and he had to disappear for a year, but bring him back. Um, Philip Dorsett. She spends a lot of time with Dorsett. She obviously likes him. Yeah. Um, and he he's the other day. he yeah. And they were touched one for a touchdown. Those were good good yeah. plays too. Uh, and. And the key to this, keeping to a set, I think, Brady likes him. Yeah, I think he does, too. He does. He talks about him a lot. He's a very hard worker. So hopefully they can keep him. I mean, it, 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 he doesn't have the production to go out to market and get a huge number. No, he's not going to get a huge number. He's not going to no. get a double-digit But million. if they can give him something with incentives, a yeah. um, couple of years, yeah. uh, I, think, I think the kid's... Something special, I really do. Yeah, hopefully they they'll eventually get him yeah. more integrated. I, uh, he did play well in the first yeah. playoff game. Yeah, Jason McCordy. Uh, he's been versatile and has been a leader in the room, helping the younger players. Wouldn't be a surprise to see him return. I'd be fine with him coming back, but I still want them to address the, that. You know, <laughs> they have right now as we sit here. I. They have a first-round pick. They have two second-round picks. They have three third-round picks because of the compensatory. They've got a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and then they've got three sevens. So they've got six picks in the top three rounds. And they need to make hay with those picks. They need to get players with those picks. You can get play, you know. And one of the places I'd like to see them is safety. I'd like to see them get one of these young hybrid type safeties that are all the rage. Yeah. And, you know, I'm thinking between either the first or the second round picks, is there a real... I think there'll be some 
I think there'll be plenty of talent in the third round. I'm sure there will be. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure Bill has right. a pipeline into a, a, quite a few schools. Um, but to me, I hope they address linebacker. Linebacker? In the draft. I yes. hope they address the safety position. Mm -hmm. I mean, corner looks good right now. This kid that, that they signed as Jackson. Jackson, that they signed as an undrafted free agent. Yeah. I mean, he's played really well down the stretch. Sure. He's the new Malcolm Butler. And you know, there'll be another one. He'll have another one to yeah, pull so out of the Yeah, so corners, I think they're, you know, you don't have to worry too much yeah. about it. But I'd like to see them really try to get a safety that's going to play safety here for the next six years. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Corderell Patterson. Um, they, uh, they've really been working with him, but um, she's saying... Time probably needs to come back again for more retooling into what they want from him. And it's up to him whether he's willing to come back and go through yeah. another. Again, you know, is there really a market out there for him? Nope. Nope. That he's the best gonna... He's the best kickoff returner in football. Yeah. But they don't kick off anymore. Right. <laughs> so. so he helped, right? I mean, he, he did. what he did when, yep. with the running back situation yep. helped. He was he wasn't great, but no, he, but he know. was very serviceable. Yeah, yeah. And he's run some jet sweeps. He's and he's a tool in the toolbox. Right. I'd like to see them hang I on to him. I wouldn't mind at all bringing him back because yeah. you cannot teach speed. Yeah. You either got it or you don't. Malcolm Brown, um, she's saying doubtful he'll be resigned. Yeah, I haven't. We'll Call, see if they haven't called know. his name too often. Although he no, made, they made one good play, he busted something up behind the line of scrimmage in the uh, Charger game. So um, I, but, I'm not so sure he won't be back. I think he, they'll say go to market, and if somebody's willing to pay him six million, you know, give him a two-year, twelve million dollar contract, they'll let him go. Go back, go back. We can find and somebody else. He's willing to come back here for two years. At three? Yeah. Three a year. Three a year. Yeah. yeah. Show us what you got. You haven't right. shown it to us yet, Malcolm. So he'd uh, help himself a lot if he had a great game Sunday. Yeah. He'd you better believe it. A lot, a lot yeah. of eyeballs watching that yeah. game. Ryan Allen, um, he just, you know, she just, she likes him. Yeah, whatever. And what's not to like? Yeah. He's a damn He's good fine. punter. He's, He's fine. Positional, you know? Yeah. Like uh, to keep him. Yeah. And uh, then, then it's just a bunch of these guys and that guys. And I wonder what the punter franchise number is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I'd be tempted to uh, pay him well in comparison to other punters. Yeah. Because uh, he does what Bill wants him to do. No, he does. Yeah. He's, he's, he's fine. I don't want to overpay for him. Though. Yeah. Um, she really likes uh, Ramon Humba and Albert McClellan, the two guys they picked up in the middle of the year, <laughs> special teams guys. Yeah. Uh, I guess, so that must mean Bill likes them. Yeah, I don't really have an opinion on them. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, anywho. Um, you know, I think that that's pretty much it for the Patriots. Uh, oh, hmm. Uh, I, I kind of like this picture, too. Yeah. Something's got Something's to give. Something's got to give, and it yeah. certainly did. It did. Um, Resoundingly. Oh, one more thing, then. Um, is that his behavior, Rivers, his yeah, behavior, was, was childish yeah. and crying <coughs> after every bloody play. Yeah, it was too bad because I like Philip Rose. Yes. I do. I think he's a good kid. Yeah. Not a kid anymore, but a good no. guy. Family man. I like Philip Rivers. He was a, a whiny little kid. That's right. I mean, waving the arms. So it's an emotional time. I get it. Uh, I was disappointed in it because I do like him, and I still like him despite that. <laughs> I think. Do you know what I would really like to see occasionally? is when these guys go off their nut and start screaming at the referee. Yeah. I'd love to see the referee take the flag out and say, okay, yeah. go ahead, keep yelling. 
15 yards, unsportsmanlike conduct. And you know what? If the referees would start doing that, a lot of this, these theatrics would go away. Yeah, he was a little much. And I get that he was upset. And they yeah. They couldn't do anything. They couldn't, you know. And I'm sure it's very frustrating. Because they're, they're, they're a good team. They had a great year. And they just, the Patriots were awesome, but they stunk. They came in here. I don't know if it was the back-to-back -back having to go to fly to the East Coast, the travel. Uh, I don't know what it was. Okay. But... You know, I saw them play multiple times during the year, and they were a hell of a lot better than what showed up in Foxborough. And the thing that amazes me is how he can throw the ball as far as he can and as accurate as he can short-arming it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, he's been like that forever. Oh, I know. So that's how he throws. And that's how his kid throws now. Yeah. <laughs> in so, Pop Warner. You know, he's a good quarterback. Oh, he's an excellent quarterback, yeah. Uh, is he ever going to win one? I don't know. He's got about a three- or four-year window, probably. He's got the talent around him. They, they are needing a new coach out there, and uh, they need um, some more uh, defense, uh, as, as good as Bozer and uh, Ingram are. Yeah. They, they have, there's other problems there. And... and uh, Playing zone against the Patriots was a terrible strategy. It was. Yeah, it really was. You can't, yeah, the, I mean, everybody, even fans know that. That's the yeah. thing. Everybody, it, goes, oh, you play zone. Brady will just pick you apart because his his guys know exactly how to sit down in his own, and they're open, and the ball's there. Yep, that's you right. Know? And so, if you want to play zone. Go right ahead. Yep. Tom Brady will pick you to pieces. You can stop the 20 and right. the 25-yard passes, but he'll throw three tens and instead. It's, and it's not just Tom Brady. It's because Julian Edelman knows how to get it, sit down and get open in his own. Gronk knows how to get open in his own. They'll kill you. Absolutely. James White comes flying out. and He knows, uh, you know. So you got to, you know, you really got to play the Patriots well, man to man. I'm glad you said James White yeah. because we glossed over him. Yeah, phenomenal. What a phenomenal player he is, and it always comes around playoff time. A record-setting performance. Boy, he just steps up to the plate. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, if you're a San Diego fan and you're watching James White catch, was it 16 or 15? 14, I think. Over and over, yep. and your team's just sitting there in zone, and they're just getting shredded. Yeah. Your defensive line isn't doing anything. And your team is not blitzing much, much. I mean, they just didn't blitz. They rushed four, and they sat back in zone while they got shredded. And the coaching staff really made no adjustments for two quarters. None. None. While they just mm. touched down, touched down, touched down, touched yep. down. Touch, you know, yep. it was That game amazing. was nowhere near as close as the numbers would indicate. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. 41 to points. 28. Oh, I mean, please. yeah. I mean, the Patriots the just was, said, you know, go ahead. and Game was yeah, we're, really we're, over uh, at halftime, uh, but, yeah. you know. Let's just keep the clock running. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah. Uh, James White, um, and shame on us for not mentioning him earlier. Yeah, phenomenal. What an outstanding performance. And Sonny Michelle also, I thought, played very well. Yeah. I thought Michelle played well. I tend to give him a little less credit because I just thought the offensive line was so dominant. Was and, so and Gronk. Dominant. Yeah, Gronk and, was. Oof. And Allen, when he was in there, he yeah. blocked well too. Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah. So, you know, there were holes there that I think most NFL running backs could get through. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a couple so, of them. Not to one... take anything away from Allen, but, or Michelle. There, but... Was, there was one to the right side that you could have driven a Ford Explorer through yeah. um, on one play. Yeah. It was a misdirection play. Man, did they bite. So it'll be interesting to see how much they try to establish the running game against Kansas City. Um, <clears throat> on that note, we need to wind this up. But did you watch the Celtics last night? I did watch the Celtics. Very good game. You know, shows you what they're capable of when they can actually play together. Kyrie was on a, a high level last night. Yes, he was. Uh, 18 assists, I mean, on top of... Yeah, that's all, all world performance yeah. for him. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see. They're frustrating, though. Oh, I, you know what? They're not a likable team. 
Yeah, that's. Uh, I, 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 I never say to myself, oh, man, Celtics are on tonight. Man, I like yeah. this team. I don't. Yeah. They don't play well together. The they don't Isaiah box Thomas out. teams were actually more likable. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there was things happening out there. But you they know, weren't good enough to win it. No. Um, and these guys aren't either. This team's. They're, they're not. not yeah. It's they're not a, a lot of loose pots, but it's not a team. They may be a legitimate threat next year or the year after, but they're not a legitimate Depends. threat this, this year. Go, yep, they're going to have to retool. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, the, the pieces they have don't go together. Yeah. You know. So we're going to um, see what Danny does. And the key. Bruins are uh, another team that is not likable. I mean, uh, the, sec- the third line and the fourth line are plumbers. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, oh, man. Yeah. That, the, we could talk about this next time. I, we're going to have to talk about it next time because, well, we'll have the core. Uh, we'll have to. Well, we may be talking about right the, Super the Super Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> yeah, right before the Super Bowl. Yeah. But, folks, thanks for tuning in. Um, and um, we'll make you a promise that we'll be back and explain how far wrong we were or how far right we were with our choices. Yeah. Go Pats. Go Pats. And, uh, Watch out and be safe this weekend. We're supposed to have some sort of a snow event. That's what we do here. That's it. So, folks, good night, and we'll see you next time.